What's up guys, it's FunFetcher here, back with another video, and today is week 3 of my 90 day challenge of creating a comic book. And I just did some laundry, and I'm about ready to go to the library and get some work done there. And the reason why I like going to the library so much is because after a few hours of working, you can take a break and read some books or check out some comic books. And fortunately, this library that I go to has comic books. And Actually, I also have to return some uh, library books as you can see and I have to actually renew some of them as well because I end up not reading as much as I wanted to. But first, before we go to the library, I actually have to pack up my stuff and get ready to go. And here is a quick look at my desk. Sorry for the mess, but maybe I'll do a quick desk setup or what's in my bag video sometime soon but I have to pack up my Huin drawing tablet I don't remember exactly the name but I'll share the details in a later video I guess and you can see this is kind of like my setup it's a mess right now <laughs> and I've actually been doing some work here and go and save everything and head to the library, so let's not waste any time, let's get right to it. Alrighty, so this is what I have so far. For week three, I've actually accomplished to do three pages of work for about one week. And honestly, I'm pretty happy with the progress I'm hitting right now. I'm definitely learning a lot of new tricks and learning more about my workflow and style. So for this page right here, as you can see, it's the thumb right now. It's pretty scribbly, but nothing really changed compared to my last two videos when I talk about how I do things. First, I start out with the thumbs just to get the rough ideas out. And it's really scribbly, but honestly, since it's the thumbs, it's okay. It's important to not be too nitpicky about the finer details. You can see I pretty much got what I want to say or my ideas across with page 3. So once I finish the really rough thumbs or concepts, I go straight into maybe slightly cleaner or more finer sketches. And unfortunately, I... Uh, made one layer like really gray just so I can outline it earlier but then we uh, grouped it with another layer so you can see some part is just gray and then other part is like the black part and yeah and you might be wondering why they all look the same and that's because with this scene right here um, nothing much is really changing he's actually in class and zoning out during school so there's not a whole lot of action scene or anything like that and I know that many of you guys are wondering what my comic is about and I'm pretty prepared to tell you guys that it's gonna be about school boy who's just experienced an everyday life of going to school and hating Mondays and really just want to stay in bed all day or play video games so it's pretty normal but I'm hoping that with the mix of Garfield humor style, it will make things a bit more interesting. So once I have a clear idea what I want, I move straight into the outline, and it looks something like this. And you can see he's pretty like bored in class, and he's just looking out. And the idea is that he's is actually sitting next to a window and just imagining stuff or just observing what's going on with the outside world and I'm sure many of us have done that where we're just really bored in class and as I was working on page 3 I was actually feeling a little bit bored and not really burnt out but I was getting tired of working on this scene so during halfway through the process I actually moved on to page 4 and was working on it at the same time and I kind of like this way of doing stuff because it allows you to be a little bit more free. I was able to work on three pages within the week and it feels good when you have a lot of stuff that you're working on honestly. So this is the super rough 
thumbs for page four. So yeah, it's just depicting him happy about his lunch and opening his lunchbox and then finding a note that he has to buy his lunch because his mom didn't make lunch for him today. So I'm sure many of you guys may have experienced that before and was kind of disappointed that you didn't get what you thought you were getting. Here's page five. So you can see that page five, it's definitely different compared to the last two page because it's depicting a whole different scene. And the idea is that there's a sale on his favorite ramen or something like that. And I just want to show that there's a crowd that he has to fight over and he's about to grab the sale item but then it was got yanked out of his hand or out of his reach. So once I finished the thumbs, I went into the sketching. And for this one, it was mostly about the anatomy, honestly, uh, of the hands because hands are really difficult to draw. So again, I just broke it down to the basic dots and line or ball and stick technique just to get the rough composition of it. So it's not completely done. I still have to put in the main character in the crowd. And I started to do a little bit of a rough sketch of him here. So overall, this is what I have for week 3. I was able to work on page 3, page 4, and page 5. So overall, I was able to learn a lot. I forced myself to work on multiple pages instead of trying to do one page from start to finish. And in doing so, I felt more free and having a lot more fun and giving that I sometimes have a short attention span when working on a single project. By working on the three pages within the week, I was able to bounce around and it felt refreshing. Maybe that's the key when drawing your own comic. You have to find your own process and learn and analyze how you do things and maybe get better at. I learned that I tend to get too boggled down on one page from start to finish that I can easily get bored or burnt out and by bouncing around to different pages, I noticed that I'm feeling a bit more refreshed when I work on each page and it's definitely made me feel like I'm progressing a lot faster. Even though I'm not doing my flats or colors in the pages, I feel like by just going to the outline stage and then moving on to the next stage, it definitely feels like I'm progressing towards the right way and hopefully hit that 32 page mark at the end of the 90 day challenge and I know that some of you guys are commenting why I'm not doing the 100 day challenge and that's only because that I heard about the 90 day challenge first before I heard about the 100 day ta challenge so maybe I'll add an extra 10 days and those will be like OVAs and if you know anything about anime OVAs or original video animation and Maybe I'll do something like that when I have time, I guess. So overall, that's kind of my process. I know that uh, it's not ideal way of doing things, but it definitely fits my style and personality. Alrighty guys, that about does it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that like button if you liked it, dislike if you did it, and leave a comment down below of what you guys thought about this week's progress. And if you guys want to see more fun content, be sure to subscribe and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. I'm fun for you. I'll catch you next one. Bye.